Welcome to How to Lock Trainings. In this video, we will introduce you to the automatic toll tax collection system designed using RFID module and Arduino. Nowadays, there is a huge rush in toll plazas for paying the toll tax. Therefore, in order to reduce the traffic and save time, an automatic toll collector can be used. The aim of the project is to automatically identify the RFID tag in a vehicle and to display the particular amount the user has to pay in order to pass the toll. If the user pays the amount, he can pass the gate, else he will be blocked. Let's see the demo of this project. This is the setup of the entire system. Consider this is a vehicle and when it crosses the IR sensor, the gate will be closed. At the same time, the LCD will display to put the card to the reader for scanning. Then, you can put your card on RFID and pay your bill. When the bill is successfully paid, then you can go. When a vehicle crosses the second IR sensor, the gate will be opened and you can go. In case the card does not have a balance, you can recharge the card using this RFID and keypad by entering the amount. So. This project is going to be very, very interesting. So without getting any further delay, let's get started. Do you want professional PCBs like this one that looks so good? Then use the services of Next PCB. You can select the board size, any solder mask color that you want, including something like red and green. You can select the thickness, and the PCB could be from 2 up to 32 layers for some more complex design. The finish quality is so good, and if you want better connectivity, you could also select some gold finish for the pads. The ordering process is so easy. Just go to nextpcb.com, then quit now. Insert your design setting, upload your cover files, and order now. And receive the PCV in a couple of days. Welcome back again. Let's see what components we need for this project. We need an Arduino Uno board, then a 16 cross 2 LCD display and I2C module for LCD display. The RFID RC522 module. Two IR sensors. This is actually the industrial best sensor called E18 sensor. A 4x4 four four keypad module is also needed. A resistor array for the keypad. You can check this in the circuit diagram and MG995 servo motor few RFID cards This is the circuit for this system. The LCD display is connected to I2C pins and RFID module is connected to SPI pins. The servo motor, keypad module and IR sensor pair are connected to digital pins. You can refer to the circuit for connection and assemble it on a breadboard or make your own custom PCB. Let's see the program for this project. We need multiple libraries here like RFID library, the keypad library and liquid crystal I2C library. The I2C address of LCD is 0 cross 27. This may vary for yours. Then we define sensors and module input output pins and define some variables as well. In this line, define the balance of each RFID card. We define the key of the keypad module. In the setup section, we initialized serial begin, LCD begin, servo functions, and SPI of RFID. In the loop section, a condition of the RFID recharge system is defined. The servo functions, IR sensor interruption, and reading of the RFID cards all come under the loop section. In these lines, Please insert the RFID tag number of your RFID card. This needs modification. You can go through the rest part of the code in detail. Now, from the tools menu, select the Arduino Uno board. Then the COM port and hit the upload button to upload the code. After uploading the code, let's check the working now. This is the setup of the smart tool collection system. Let's turn on this system. The LCD will display the automatic toll collection system message. I have a pair of RFID card is assigned in the code. One card is having a balance of 4000 and the other is 200 only. What I do now is, I will cross this first IR sensor. We can assume 
This crossing is a vehicle crossing. So, you can see the sword board rotated and the gate got closed. The LCD displayed, put your card for scanning. Now, you need to pay 500 if you need to pass out through the gate. In case you don't pay, you are not allowed to go. So, let's pay the amount by scanning this card. So, I paid the amount and my remaining balance is 3500. Now, as 500 is deducted, you can set any amount in the code part. Now, let's cross the second IR sensor. In this case, the gate is opened and now you are good to go. So, you can go now. Congratulations, your system is working fine. Now, let us test this system with a card which has a low or zero balance. In this case, the LCD displayed you have insufficient balance and the remaining balance is 200 only. But the requirement is 500. Therefore, we need to resolve the card. To do that, we will use this keypad. On this keypad, press the A button. Now, the RFID has gone into recharge mode. So, we need to enter the amount now. I will want to resolve this with 2000 amount. So, enter 2000 and press D. The RFID is recharged now. And your current balance is 2200. Let's pass out using this card now. The gate is opened and I will scan my card. So the amount is paid now. Let's pass out through the second sensor. The gate got opened and I can go out. This is really great. The system is working very fine and you can use this in the industrial applications or for your college project. So that's all from the today's video.